Hello everyone, this is Reza Dorani. Today's video is about adding Power Apps to Microsoft Teams meetings. Yes, you heard that right. A fully featured Canvas Power App in the side panel of your Microsoft Teams meeting experience. So let's get started with the video, but first, my introduction. Power Apps is a service for building and using custom business apps that connect to your data and work across the web and mobile devices. Now the Power Apps that we built can be standalone Power Apps. They could be apps that are connected to a SharePoint list. Those are list form customized Power Apps. I can also take apps that I have built and add them to Teams as a tab so I can access the apps directly in Microsoft Teams. And I can also build apps leveraging Microsoft Dataverse for Teams directly in the context of my Microsoft team. Now, apart from all of these use cases, how about adding a Power App to a Microsoft Teams meeting? So when I am connected to a Microsoft Teams meeting, how about me running a Power App right here within the Microsoft Teams meeting experience? While I was going through Wes's blog around Teams, I noticed an article in his blog which said how to create your own Teams meeting apps with Power Apps and that really piqued my interest. And he's basically provided a step-by-step -step guidance right here on his blog on how you can leverage your existing standalone Canvas apps and add them to your Teams meetings. So let's see how we can go ahead and do that. Now in this case, I have a very simple app that I have built. It's called my Task Capture app. And in this app, it is going to list out all my meetings for today. And any meeting that is currently running would be highlighted as a current meeting. So as you can see right here, this is my current live meeting that's running. I can select this meeting and for each meeting, I can go ahead and start creating tasks. So in this case, I'll create a task called build an expense report app. I'm going to give this a due date of the 28th and I'm going to add this task. And just like that, this task gets added to Planner and it associates it with this meeting through the title of the meeting. So if I head to Planner right now, I have a plan called my cat plan. And right here, I have the name of the meeting, which is my Power Platform Learn Meeting. And in that, I added this task. And this task is now assigned to me. And the due date that I picked is right here. And I can add multiple tasks to the same meeting. So I can head back and select any other meeting and start adding tasks specific to that meeting as well. All these tasks are getting added to Planner. Now this is a standalone Canvas app built with the mobile experience in mind. Now how do I take this app that I have built and add it to my meeting so that when my meeting is running live, I can actually create tasks on the fly in that meeting experience itself. To do that, I will head over to the Maker portal. Here's my app. I'm going to click on add to teams. I will go ahead and download the app. So this will basically package my app and make it available for me so I can upload this as a custom app to teams. And here's the package that got created. Now in teams, if I head over to apps, this is where I can upload those apps. I can upload the app directly as an organizational teams app. If I have the respective access, or I can submit the app to the app catalog so the admins can approve it and it gets added as an organizational wide Teams app. Please note, in order to add these apps directly as a side panel within the meeting experience itself, you need to ensure that your app is an organizational wide app. So you need to ask your Teams admin to upload or approve it. If you don't have the option to upload a custom app, so you would have to submit it to the app catalog and then the Teams admin will have to approve it. Now this package that just got downloaded, if I upload that to Teams, it will add it to the Teams catalog and my users can leverage that app. This app can be added as tabs in Teams, but you cannot sideload this app to Teams meetings. And how do you sideload apps to Teams meetings? Once I have my meeting invite created, I can go back to a meeting invite. So let's take this invite for example. I can go to edit. And right here on the top, I have the option of adding a tab. 
Now, when I select this, this will list out all the apps that I can add as a tab to my meeting. Now, notice right here that I already have an app that I actually sideloaded prior to this recording. So that is available right here. And all I can do then is just select this and add this as a tab in my meeting experience. And I will click on save. So this power app is now going to be available as a side panel when the meeting is running. Now, in order for me to upload this package to Teams and make it available as an option for me to add as a tab, basically side loaded to my meeting, I have to go to the location of that zip file that gets generated. I'm going to extract the contents of that zip file. And then within the contents of that zip file, there is a manifest.json file. You got to open that manifest.json file in any editor of your choice. In my case, this is Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to go ahead and format my JSON. This is not required. All you need to do is make one change in that manifest.json file. Search for a node called context. And as you can see, in context, there are multiple options available here. And all of them are related to adding them as tabs in Teams. But what we need to do is side load it to the meeting side panel. And in order for us to do that in the context, we need to go ahead and add an extra option called meeting side panel. Ensure that you're inserting this value exactly like how I have added it right here. Once you have this in place, go ahead and save the manifest file. Head back to your folder and select all the files within that folder and go ahead and zip them up. You can call the zip file whatever you like. I'm going to call this my task capture dot zip file. And now I will head over to teams and within teams, I'll go to apps and I will upload this app to my tenant. My tenant is called power index. So it's going to upload it for my tenant and ensure that you upload the zip file that you just created in which you have the updated manifest file. Now, once you upload that, the app would be uploaded as an organizational teams app for your tenant. And you can see it right here. When I go to build for my tenant, I see them that these two apps are currently built by my organization. However, for both of these apps, I have gone in and changed the manifest file to ensure I have that setting in place. Now, if I head back to any of my meetings, so let's say I'm going to take this meeting. Now I'm going to click on edit. And for this meeting, I'm going to go ahead and add a tab. And right here now you will notice that I see my new app that I just uploaded, which is my meeting task capture app. So I'm going to select this and add this to the meeting. And I'm going to click on save. And this app now has been added to that meeting invite. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the other app as well, which is my quiz app to the same meeting invite. So you can add multiple apps and associate it to your same meeting invite. Now, once you've done uploading those apps to that meeting invite, if I was to join this meeting from my team's client on my desktop, this only works with the team's client experience on your desktop devices. It currently does not work with mobile devices and it also does not work with the team's web experience. So I'm going to go ahead and join this meeting. And once I join this meeting, observe, I have my apps listed right here on the top. So of course I have all my meeting details, my meeting participants, my chat, and right here I have my app. Now, if I select the meeting task capture app, notice it will open that power app right here in the context of my team's meeting. It has sideloaded that app in the side panel. And right here is my current meeting that is running, which is the app in an hour meeting. And for this meeting now, I can go ahead and start adding tasks. So I'm going to add the Learn Power Apps task, and I'm going to add this task to this meeting. If I head over to Planner, observe that the task that I just added for my app in an hour meeting has been created right here, which is app in an hour Learn Power Apps. So I have my app directly within the meeting panel itself. And it's on the side panel, as you can see right here. And it's the live power app. The full experience of my power app is available right here. All the participants of the meeting will also need access to this power app. 
It only works for users internal to your organization. It doesn't work with guest users. Guest users will not even see the icons of the app so that they can run the app. And here's my quiz app that I just selected right here. So as you can see, here's my quiz app running live in the context of this meeting. So I can start the quiz and play my app just like a regular standalone Canvas app. Now the side panel that is available right here has a limited height and width as you can see. So if you select the tablet experience while designing your power app, the app would not fit well in the side panel experience. So that's how you can quickly and easily add apps to your meeting experiences in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I post my latest video. Thank you so much for watching.